kosho, how not to do this nabakag, they bring on a new video. I hope everyone is enjoying the winter months, the winter season, if you're in the States. And uh, I know you're enjoying the warm weather if you're back at the motherland, if you're back in Sierra Leone. So today I want to talk about the two best current players um, that could be playing, that should have been playing for Sierra Leone. Um, and that's Anthony and Trevor here. Anthony is to the left, Trevor is to the right. Let's start with Anthony. Anthony is about 28 years old from what I saw. He's a uh, pretty mature gentleman, successful. He's playing for Chelsea. Um, Anthony was actually born in Germany. But his mother is a Sierra Leone and his mother is from Sierra Leone. Um, and Anthony is, is eligible to play for Germany or Sierra Leone uh, when it comes to international levels. So as we know, Anthony did not play for Sierra Leone in the, um, in the African Cup of Nations this year, 2021. But Anthony is the ambassador of, uh, of, of soccer or football of Sierra Leone. So Anthony is very involved with Sierra Leone, he travels back and he travels back and forth to come visit. Um, he's very involved. He recently just met with the president, uh, President Manabio. They took pictures. You know how celebrities do, man. You know, everybody was gathering up to to welcome him on his visit. You know, he um, the people, the people are behind him. You know, the people love him. They showed him that love. And Anthony do you know he, him too though you know he he loves his country, and that's something that we share. You know that's that's another reason why I chose him for this video. But he is one of the top players right now that could be playing for Sierra Leone. Young guy. Um, and let's move to Trevor. Trevor is a young is a young guy. He's pretty young. Um, also playing for Chelsea. He's a really good player, man. Um, Trevor was, was born. He's a he's he was born in Sierra Leone. He's currently living in Britain or Europe. Um, pretty Trevor's pretty young. He might be uh, eighteen or twenty, I think, from what I from what I came across, something like that. So he moved he moved out of Sierra Leone at at, at the, when he was eight years old. Um, and he developed his skills. I'm sure he was. I'm sure he played a lot of football in Sierra Leone. He played a lot of soccer in Sierra Leone. Because um, I, I mean, I can speak for myself. When I, I traveled and and uh, with the family, around the same age as Trevor, age eight, nine, and um, I remember at that point, you know, I was really talented at soccer as well. In, even in Sierra Leone and even when I came overseas, I was really talented. I was able to dominate um, kids my age and even kids a couple, couple years older than me. So I'm sure he developed himself pretty well playing in Sierra Leone as a young man or as a kid. Um, but he developed himself in the youth leagues when he came overseas. He continued to play in youth leagues. Uh, he was he got connected with Chelsea, so that's how he was able to develop himself and um, and continue to grow in the in the sport of soccer and uh, in the sport of football. So, but these two players right now, these these two players, I think could have took us very far. I'm gonna start the video. I'm, I'm gonna play the highlight. Of uh, Sierra Leone versus Ivory Coast uh, this year in the African Cup of Nation in the background, so we can kind of see some of the highlights. The players that we have are good currently that are playing for the country, you know. But I think these two guys could have took us to the next, could have took us to the next level to advance. You know what I'm saying? So 
that's why I wanted to highlight those two guys real quick in our video. Um, you know, but even if these two guys, if Anthony, you see Anthony, is, he's not playing for Sierra Leone, but he, like I said, he's involved. And I was, I really hope, I really uh, was hoping, or I wish Trevor can follow in the same footstep, even though if he doesn't want to play for Sierra Leone, I'm hoping he'll be able to, you know, um, help with coaching or maybe, or even advice, um, except from coaching, sorry, maybe not coaching, but advice and training, you know, Trevor can, uh, Trevor and Anthony can put together a great training program for our players back home. Great uh, plans how to develop and improve young players that are coming up within the country. You know, we have access to the whole continent. Um, our players, our young ones, should be traveling to, like, say, Senegal, Gambia, Nigeria. Those are the, those are top teams right now in the in the um, in the in this conference right now in the league those are top teams Senegal Gambia Nigeria all these teams and even South Africa why not Cameroon Burkina Faso uh, even even our our, our our neighbors here Ivory Coast <laughs> you know all, all these teams that are surrounding us you know we should have the the, the sense and the ability um, we you know we should have a program that support our young youth that are playing soccer to to get them to travel within the continent to develop their skills you know let them move out of the country let them go play for say months in senegal let them go play for months in Burkina faso let them go play for months in ivory coast you know th this is how we're going to develop and be able to compete um with the rest of the continent and even abroad, you know, outside of the continent. But I received a lot of good comments, you know, from uh, from friends, um, from friends and other people that were that were soccer fans, that were watching the games. They were really surprised of uh, the performance of Sierra Leone, and I mean, I was surprised too. They did very well, um, but I think we can we can. We can definitely improve. There's a lot of room for improvement. They was hope they was able to hold themselves against the defending champs, which was Algeria. You know that was a that was a that was a very big game. That you know it was a draw, but but at least we were able to come out of there with with that. You know, and even with uh, Ivory Coast here, you know I, Ivory Coast is a top team. They always been. They always they always been on the radar, you know. With remember when Drogba used to play for them? I remember that. I was that's when I was really into soccer. When Drogba used to play for them, um, Drogba was a beast. But um, but yeah, that's kind of that's that's just my two cents, my advice. I kind of want to give. Um, and even this can come from the top, you know, a governmental program where um, we sponsor. Um, say like top youths that are that are playing in Sierra, that are in Sierra Leone playing right now, get them to travel, expose them. It should be cheap, man. Cheap to travel to Senegal, Gambia, Nigeria. Why not? Those are that would be a very cheap program for them to support to get the country on the national stage for us to be um, in front of the world. You know, this is how we make a comeback. You know, this and you know the the kind of joy soccer brings uh football brings to the country you know all those games that we were tying people were so happy you know it, it it's gonna uplift our spirit it's gonna uplift the people's spirit that are in the country you know so that investment that we that we can uh, support and put in for our youth to be able to travel um within africa to play soccer to develop them to develop their skills see different training methods and even dieting, you know, I think dieting is also important. You know, this is this is the kind of stuff that I believe uh, Trevor and Anthony are exposed to, and I believe these are the kind of uh, things that they should be 
uh, bringing up a sharing with with their uh, countrymen, with uh, with the rest of the Sierra Leone soccer team, especially Dai. I know I know where the, the talent is there for soccer, um, but when it comes to dieting, maybe the the knowledge might not be there for 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 when it comes to dieting, like what to eat, for energy, um, drinking water, you know, staying hydrated, um, you know, like making it, giving them the understanding. Don't forget to eat your greens, your uh, fruits, you know, like we eat a lot of rice, maybe cutting down on the rice if it's like maybe um, cut, cut, go to half, like eat half for the rice, amount of rice that you're currently eating. We, I know we, we and our people eat rice like every day. Let's find other things to eat, you know, cut out the rice. You can eat other stuff, cassava, fufu, whatever, even though it's starch. You know, maybe stay away from starch and bread. Let's reduce that too. You know, just starch and bread. Um, let's put more greens and more uh, fruits within our meals. Make sure we're getting milk. You know, if it's even if it's almond milk, you know, or or whatever. You know, like stuff, organic stuff, natural stuff. Let's begin farming too. You know, farm our own food. We should have a whole farm just for our football players. Why not? You know what I'm saying? We should have a whole farm for our football players. Make sure they're eating good. You know what I mean? So when they when they get out there on the stage, they're able to perform. You know? Like, look at this young man, Musa Kamara, in this in this game, man. He killed it. Young guy. Uh, he's another one that we got to keep an eye on. You know? Uh, let him keep developing. We should, we should get him exposed to different training methods and, and, and great dietary plans. And, you know, to develop our players. And even workout, exercise and workouts. Hit the gym, you know. Uh, we should be building our, our, our guys a great, um, you know, gym facility where they can go and lift weights, you know, to get stronger, develop strength. You know, all, all these things are important and all these things can take us to the next level. And I know Trevor and Anthony um, has been exposed to basically everything I'm talking about. Anthony is involved, which is great, uh, but I, I hope he can uh, mentor Trevor as a teammate on che at Chelsea over there. They both play together over there. I hope he can mentor Trevor and uh, encourage Trevor so, you know, um, or even plant the seed of the same love that he has for his country or, well, that he has for Sierra Leone. Um, let him, I hope he can plant that in Trevor. Trevor is a young guy, you know, right now he... His uh, mentality or his mindset might not might not be that right now, you know. But I hope as he gets, as he develops and get more mature, um, you know, he he'll be for his country, um, or at least at least have the have the um, the 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 at least the mindset to to try to bring back some knowledge, to try to share knowledge, to try to develop, you know, help the people develop, you know, so they can change their lives as well. Just like he was given or had the opportunity to change his life. Um, that's my two cents. Um, that's all I want to say for today. Um, I hope you guys can uh, can join me back. Um, you know, for for another episode or for another video. Come back, guys. You know, comment subscribe you know comment down below uh maybe say i mean historically comment down below historically your your favorite player that that played for sierra leone or or who you think or some of the best players that came out of sierra leone let's flood the comments with some uh with some informational stuff uh you know some historical facts and all of this that would be great all right guys see you on the next one